Hello, my beautiful earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is Debs, and this is your TGIF love reading for Friday, the 10th of June. Hope you're all well. Hope everything is good in your world, whatever you're doing, uh, whatever you're up to. I hope things are good. Um, and I feel a sign that you're trying to make a decision as to whether or not to walk away from a situation. Somebody may do something on repeat which irritates you. There's something that is really getting on your goat and you just don't know whether or not you should walk away from this, okay? What I'm actually hearing from Archangel Michael is they will never change. So whatever it is that they do that irritates you, they're not going to change. They're not going to stop doing what they're doing, which causes you to sort of get really cross and upset or just feel, I hate it every time they do that. It's just really irritating, whatever this is, okay? They're not going to change. So let's see what this is and where this goes. Here we go, people. Here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF love reading for my earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Friday the 10th of June. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm seeing a woman walking into the bathroom and it's a complete tip. It's a tip. Wet towel on the floor, toothpaste all over the basin, Mouthwash all over the basin. Someone hasn't flushed the loo. Yeah, and she's just standing there with her hands on her hips and she's just shaking her head as if to say, I can't believe it. So it could be that someone here has got an unpleasant living habit. You know, maybe they're just really messy. Maybe even a bit selfish. I don't know. Um, you wanted to manifest change. We've had the magician come out, guys. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. Someone is trying to manifest someone changing. I don't think they are going to, though. That's the problem. Can you live with whatever they're doing? Now, you could just be dating someone, you know, and it's something that they do that annoys you. Maybe they keep sending you really stupid emoji texts. And every time you see it, you just think, oh, for God's sake, grow up, you know? Uh, it could be that somebody, this is one of my pet hates, every time they send a message, they put ha, ha, ha. Like every single time it's funny. Well, no, it's not funny. It's just pathetic. It's just immature. It's as if everything has to be super casual to be cool. It's just sad. Sad. Sorry, guys. It's one of my pet hates. How are you? Ha, ha, ha. I'm fine. Ha, ha, ha. It's just, it just irritates me. Anyway, sorry if some of you do that. My apologies, but it's something that really irritates me. <laughs> Whatever this is, you're not going to change it. You're not going to change them. All right. Maybe somebody clears their throat 20 times a day and it drives you insane. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. Maybe it's me. Maybe you're thinking, yeah, Debs, you fiddle too much with the cards. It drives me mad. <laughs> Everybody has their little habits. Everybody does. Everyone's human. Nobody's perfect. But this is specifically touching on someone or a group of people whose partner or person they're dating does something that just makes them crawl up the wall. I hate it when they do that, right? <laughs> So we've got the magician. Oh my goodness. Did I cut the deck? Yes, I did. Thank you, Michael. All right. Okay. This is your energy, guys. Oh, I don't know what this is. Let's see. And this is your person's energy. So I'm feeling earth signs for this particular week. It could be a lighthearted reading, but I do feel there's me fiddling with the cards, right? But I do feel that someone here has had enough. Mm, to the point where they're thinking of ending it, maybe. So the magician. Mm -hmm. This is Virgo Scorpio Gemini energy. This is somebody who manifests what they're wanting. They feel as if they have all the tools they need to do it. Okay, I'm putting that to one side. Let's move to Sacred Forest, Denise Lynn. Here we go, guys. All my decks are in the description box of all of my YouTube videos, if you're interested. All right. Okay, that's your energy. Let's find out your person's energy. 
again, this could be somebody you've just dated. It could be your best mate. Um, it could be somebody you've been in a long-term relationship with. Somebody is getting irritated to the point where they've got to say something. They've got to do something about it. Maybe make a joke of it. I don't know. But I keep hearing from Michael, this person is not going to change. So for some of you, you've got to think whether or not you can actually live with this. Can you live with this? Right? Okay, guys, so, um, Lighted Pathway, like with Tarot and Oracle. Let's have a look at your energy first. So, can we have some energy, please, for my earth signs? That one, okay. And for my earth signs person, yeah. Okay. Right, people, we are delving in. Let's have a look at your energy. Let's see what's on your mind and how you're feeling always at this point of time. Here we go. The death card, OMG. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be thinking, right, that's it. I'm ending it. I cannot cope with it when they do that anymore. I can't deal with it. <laughs> for some of you, you may be hoping for transformation. You may be hoping that this person is going to shed their skin, is going to grow up, that things are going to change. Mm, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Okay. What's underneath that? The Queen of Cups. You could be sitting in the energy of someone warm, loving and giving a sign. This is you wanting to move forward towards someone to express your feelings. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of love here. So we've got potentially you wondering whether or not you can change a situation, whether a cycle is going to come to a close with a death card. Are we going to be able to just end the cycle that's irritating me, that's upsetting me? Because with the Queen of Cups, you love someone, Earth sign. You love someone. Okay. Okay. Queen of Swords. Earth sign, you may be irritated. That someone is, you know, if this is you thinking about your person, and it could be, it could be that one day they are sharp and blunt and a bit unaffectionate, a bit unemotional, maybe even insensitive. And the next minute they're acting all warm and loving and giving and nurturing and uh, I really want to be with you. Maybe this is you feeling that your person is just way too up and down in their emotions. And it's making you feel uncomfortable. Well, do they love me or do they hate me? Because I don't know. It could even be as much as that. Mm. Now, it could be that, Earth sign, you may have two people on your mind. I think it may be connected with a masculine Earth sign. It may not be. You could be trying to make a decision to end... A situation with a Queen of Swords or a situation with a Queen of Cups. But you're on the fence. So what you're trying to decide is which one irritates me the least? Which one could I actually live with on an ongoing basis? Who is not going to drive me up the wall? Because you're being practical. You're an earth sign. So maybe someone here has got a really irritating habit and the other one hasn't. And you're thinking, hmm. I wonder which I should go for. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at your person. The Four of Cups. Somebody here is feeling left out in the cold. Somebody here could always see the negative side of things. Maybe this is somebody who, you know, when it rains, they say, oh, God, it's raining again. And when the sun comes out, oh, no, I'm going to have to water the garden. Oh, I hate it when it's too hot. One of these sort of people where the glass is always half empty. Nothing's ever good enough. Nothing's ever perfect. There's always a but. Yes, I had a good day, but. Yes, I had a lovely birthday, but. You know, I got a promotion, but I'm going to now have to work really hard. You know, it's something that is irritating, there's always a pessimistic slant for no reason. And that can be really irritating. You want to shake this person. Do you not realise how good you've got it? Why are you always so negative? It's depressing to live with. 
So yeah, that could be somebody's irritating habit. Justice. Ooh. It could be that someone is trying to get themselves balanced. There could be a Libra that someone is thinking about here. But what I feel, Ursine, is that you're dealing with somebody who always sees the glass half empty and is always very sharp. Everything has to be completely balanced. I mean, this could even be as irritating as you two going out. Maybe you've been dating for ages. You go out, you have something to eat. It could be a cheapy Italian or pizza restaurant or something. And, you know, they are splitting the bill to the penny or to the cent. It's like, well, you owe, I don't know, ten dollars or ten pounds fifty and i i will pay the extra five cents or the extra five pence you think oh my god i can't cope with the fact that this person is way too stingy i can't deal with it it's ridiculous it could be that you know everything has to be absolutely half and half oh my goodness yeah that is irritating king of pentacles and maybe you're annoyed a sign because they got loads of money, King of Pentacles. They're it's it's pouring down for them. They got everything they possibly need, but they're still pessimistic. They're still penny pinching. <laughs> okay, all right. Maybe we've got to grips with it. So, your side, Sacred Forest. Ooh ooh ooh, a sign. Are you thinking of leaving someone? Are you thinking of heading off? racing off into this beautiful forest you're wanting to find someone that's happy-go-lucky somebody more relaxed somebody more fun maybe somebody who sees the lighter side of life the brighter side of life new beginnings maybe you're thinking of ending something to have a brand new beginning with someone who you feel is hmm, i'm hearing easier to be with easier to live with all right. And their energy. Refuge. Oh, okay. You could be dealing a sign with somebody who is never wanting to go out, always wanting to stay in. This is somebody who may not want to go out because they're penny pinching. No, no, no. Let's stay in. I'll cook or you can cook. You know, I'm not going out to a restaurant. No. You know, that sort of energy. It could be that it's real work to get this person to go out. They seem to want to stay in the whole time. And maybe it's just really boring. Maybe you think, well, yeah, I mean, maybe when you're working for the whole week, you want to stay in most nights. But when it comes to the weekend, don't you want to go out? Don't you want to try a new place or go on a day trip? Or this person seems to want to stay home the whole time. But they could do anything because it's sat in the King of Pentacles, male or female. This is actually the female version of the King of Pentacles. So I have to say, I know everyone says tarot is gender neutral, but I'm an intuitive. And I'm sorry, but when I feel masculine energy, I'm going to read it as masculine. And what I feel here is that we actually have a masculine earth sign who is connected to someone who is working very hard. She is sat in the King of Pentacles. This may be someone that this man is dating or even married to, but with a Four of Cups, this is somebody really depressing, very penny pinching. They never want to go out. And they always have a reason to justify what they say. There's always a reason. I'm not feeling well today. I don't want to go out because it's raining, okay? And you're getting really sick of it. And I think you're wanting to end a situation with this person that you're in a commitment with for a new beginning with someone else. The issue is, is that I think you're dealing with a Queen of Swords stroke King of Pentacles, feminine energy, okay, that you're in a long-term situation with. And they are realizing, look at this woman with a spyglass. This is someone realizing that you may have your eye, I feel, on a Queen of Cups. Okay, so my person is looking at this Queen of Cups. Hmm, don't like that. So unbeknown to you, Earth sign, you may have been found out 
that you're considering ending things with your feminine king of pentacles to be with, potentially, a queen of cups. Could be the other way around, that's what I'm feeling. Lighted pathway on your side. Wanting forever. Wow. Maybe you know that the person that you're interested in, the person that you want to leave your long-term partner for, is wanting a serious relationship. And this is getting you a little bit up in your emotions. Oh, okay. So I'd have to really end things with this King of Pentacles totally, because this person isn't just happy to casually date. And this is someone who wants long-term commitment. They're wanting to get engaged. They're wanting to get married. They're wanting us to live together. I know that about this person. So if I leave my feminine king of pentacles, this is somebody who could have been dating for ages or with a justice card even married to, I'm going to either have to end a situation with this person fully. This queen of cups is not going to allow me to just date them now and again if I'm in a relationship with somebody else or as much as even divorce your person, uh, sign, because the queen of cups is having nothing else but long term commitment. So you're already thinking about this. Your person's energy, starting a business. Mm. So maybe you are connected, Earth sign, to someone who is simply a workaholic. Somebody who is permanently got the laptop open, doesn't want to go out, always seeing things from a negative point of view, and heavily with the energy of justice and the King of Pentacles into forging forward and starting a blossoming career or expanding their career. Heading up a company, opening several offices, starting a franchise, whatever they're doing, they are more interested in their money, their financial security and their success than they are about love. And I think you're getting a bit sick of it. I think you are wondering whether or not you have the courage to break off things with your feminine king of pentacles and to move towards I'm feeling your queen of cups. So that's what we have. All right, guys. Okay, people, we have, we have Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. I feel that you have been sitting on the fence thinking about a way of getting out of a situation to return to someone that you feel a very strong connection to. The problem is you feel guilty. You feel guilty because it may be that you weren't honest with the person that you met in the past, that you were actually in a long term situation with somebody else. You're wanting to mend the situation, could be with your Queen of Cups. Could be any sign, but someone sitting in the energy of the Queen of Cups, I feel. But the problem is your current partner has got their wind up, is understanding that you have an affection for this person. You may have said, oh, they're just a friend. Oh, yeah, you know, a casual acquaintance. I think your person realises they're a bit more than that. So, Taurus, I think that you are considering ending a situation with your long-term partner to make things work with the Queen of Cups. Yes. I think that's what you're planning on doing. The problem is your Queen of Cups never really knew for sure if you were in a long-term relationship. And I feel that you're having problems winning this person around because I feel that they are wanting forever with you. And if you want forever with them, you have to make a serious decision. Because I feel, Taurus, you're in a situation where you're with someone who is all about money, business, material things. And your Queen of Cups is softer, a bit more romantic maybe, someone more sensitive, somebody who's quite happy to have a takeaway on a Friday night and not necessarily be brought to a very expensive restaurant. So you could be dealing with somebody who expects the best and is always looking at things from a negative point of view. Or you're dealing with somebody who's a serious career woman, Taurus, and it's all they think about. And you're fed up with it. Maybe you feel on your own because this person is constantly counting the pennies, constantly on Skype calls, constantly traveling for work and you've had enough. So what is Taurus gonna do? 
I think you're going to end it. I think you have been in your head as to whether or not you should go through with this. I feel as if you're sitting on the brink of quite a major life change, actually. I did say at the beginning of this reading that I didn't think this was going to be a serious situation. But for Taurus, I think it is. I think, Taurus, for you, you know where you're going and you know what you want. And I think you're planning on ending a situation with your feminine king of pentacles, who's all about the money, all about the contract, all about work, who's permanently sitting in a depressed energy, to move towards somebody who is warm and loving and giving and quite sunny in their outlook, somebody very high vibe, somebody optimistic. Yeah, so I think that's what you're going to be doing. It may be that you didn't tell this Queen of Cups your true situation, as I said before, and you're realising that you have to put the truth on the table. You have to be honest. Because it may be that you feel that this Queen of Cups has been distancing themselves because they feel that you haven't been honest. And if you know that's the case, you may have been a bit defensive with them, scared that they have actually found you out. But I feel that if you are able to be open and honest about your situation, then I think this person is going to be far more receptive. OK, yeah. And then I feel she's going to be opening up. Yeah. But I'm hearing the truth needs to be spoken because without the truth, I don't think this Queen of Cups is going to be opening up. All right. Yeah, that's it. Taurus, could be quite a serious read for you for this week. So you're thinking of ending things with a Queen of Swords stroke your feminine King of Pentacles to move towards a Queen of Cups. Empress in the reverse. Yeah, so you could be with someone who, with the energy in the reverse, is a little bit selfish, a little bit all about themselves. This could be somebody you're married to or somebody who is a bit older than you. They want things their way. There's no shifting them away from that energy. It's my way or the highway, and it's a little bit difficult for you to deal with, okay? Yeah, this is also someone who's not nurturing the relationship because they're more interested in the money, keeping things balanced. But they always seem to have a habit of looking at things from a negative point of view as well, which, of course, is really draining to live with. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I think this is you deciding... I'm hearing to cut your losses and to kind of sneak out of the situation and to go back to someone that you felt a very strong connection to. OK, this is somebody who could be your Queen of Cups that you met in the past. The issue is there's a lot of guilt here, Taurus, because it could be that at one time you were juggling both people and maybe your Queen of Cups has got the wind up. Both women may know of the other. And this is you feeling a bit guilty. Mm, OK, yeah. OK, truth has come out. The issue is, is that with the energy of the star, Aquarian energy, you want to heal, I think, a situation with the Queen of Cups. And with the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus, you may be also thinking of ending a long term situation. With the Two of Wands, you may also need to travel. Maybe this Queen of Cups lives in an area that is quite a distance from you. So you've got a lot on your mind, Taurus, because it's not only you having the courage to leave your feminine king of pentacles, who's a bit pessimistic, and all about their business, to move towards the queen of cups. You have to patch things up with the queen of cups who has found out that you're not actually single, that you're with somebody else. And they may be a bit upset and pissed off. Right. Um, but also, there could be distance between you and the Queen of Cups. So it may even mean that on top of perhaps moving out of living with somebody, getting divorced, you have to move to a different area. Because the Queen of Cups is not wanting a situation with somebody who may live in a completely different area of the world. It's just not going to be practical. Whew, so you've got big choices to make. Ten of Cups in reverse. First choice you're making, Taurus, is that you're understanding you're very unhappy in your long-term situation. And I think you're going to end it. 
With a seven of cups, you've been thinking about this, mulling things over, and this is you realising, yeah, you know what, I'm unhappy, and I think I want to leave. You've been sitting, contemplating this, you may have been thinking about a Cancerian, okay, but you've been contemplating this, and this is you deciding to move forward. Three of cups, this is you anticipating coming together with your queen of cups, with the Page of Cups in reverse, what you're hiding is the reason why you haven't been very responsive. You haven't opened up your feelings. You haven't opened up to express how you feel to your Queen of Cups. You've been hiding that because you wanted to lessen the guilt because you knew you were in a relationship with somebody else. So when you corresponded with the Queen of Cups, it may have been, hey, how are you? Do you want to catch up? Do you want to meet up? You spoke nothing of the fact that you were seriously considering them as a romantic partner. Because you didn't want to feel even more guilty than you did feel. You knew that you were messing around with two people. So you may have, in the nicest sense, treated this Queen of Cups a bit like a friend because it made you feel less guilty. You know, this is an outright affair because we're just talking as friends. But you and your Queen of Cups both knew that there was a lot of chemistry. So I feel that with the energy of the moon, more Cancerian energy, what you've hidden from this person is the reason why you have not expressed your feelings up until now. Because you've been in a relationship with another woman, I feel. Four of Wands. What you are actually hoping to do, though, is to have the courage to end a situation with your feminine king of pentacles and move towards your queen of cups. You're wanting victory and success. You may initially befriend this queen of cups if this was a romantic kind of flirtation in the past and things just dissolved. You went back to your feminine king of pentacles. You're going to be relighting the flame with the king of cups, with the queen of cups. But you may even act as if you're interested in keeping in touch with them because of the work that they do, Six of Wands. It may be that you pretend that you just want to be friends when actually you plan on living with this person, being with them in a romantic connection. First of all, until you're fully out of your connection with your feminine king of pentacles. So, sorry guys, just jog the table. Eight of Wands, messages, can I come and see you? I want to talk to you. You may say to this person, I actually just want your advice pertaining to work. The Queen of Cups is going to see right through that. But what you're actually going to say, I think, when you're face to face with this person is the tower in the reverse. Actually, my relationship ended because my feminine King of Pentacles found out that I had an interest in you, Queen of Cups. And actually, I've got to be honest, this was a fling that you and I had in the past. I didn't want to tell you that I was with somebody else because I didn't know how I felt. But now I realise I want to be with you and I'm sorry. This isn't a fair card for me. But what you're saying is, with the tower in the reverse, once that relationship with my feminine king of pentacles is totally over, can I come together with you? What do you think? Wheel of Fortune. I want to move into a new cycle with you. I feel we would get on really well. The only thing I ask, Sagittarian energy, is that you're patient with me. Because it's going to take a little bit of time to wrap up the loose ends, having disconnected from my feminine king of pentacles. So will you wait for me? The hangman, more waiting, Pisces energy. Will you wait while I sort myself out? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, I will have lost a fair amount of money because with the energy of the Justice card in the reverse, I am ending the situation with my feminine King of Pentacles. So maybe you've lived with this King of Pentacles woman in the past. Maybe you even married to them. But you're asking your Queen of Cups to be patient while you tie up loose ends with the person that you're leaving. I think with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups twice there, She's going to be receptive to moving forward with you. She does love you. With a Knight of Cups, there's a lot of romance and happiness between the two of you. And I think eventually, Taurus, if you haven't expressed yourself before, you are going to admit that you love them. 
It's not just you wanting some kind of work connection. And with the Two of Cups, with them expressing their love to you, I think you are also going to open up and express your heart. So this is going to work out really well, guys. You may have been waiting for this Queen of Cups to open up to you, but I don't think she did because she may have figured out that you were with somebody else. But I think it's all going to work out. My beautiful Virgos, let's get into your reading. Here we go, guys. Virgo, I have a feeling that you've been involved, and I feel I'm connecting with a feminine Virgo, with somebody who just couldn't stop cheating. Somebody who just couldn't keep it in their pants. Somebody who really wasn't into commitment. I think you've been dating for this, this person for a while, and I think you're fed up of dealing with, I'm hearing, their lies. Oh my goodness, Virgo. You know your worth, but I think most of the time you end up feeling single because this person never really spends a lot of time with you. They may blame it on work. They may say, oh, it's a family thing. You know that they're possibly out dating other people. And I think, Virgo, you've had enough. You're really unhappy. This is not moving forward. And I think you are deciding to make a serious judgment call to end it. OK, you want somebody that is going to be giving to the connection, somebody who is going to be open and honest with you and somebody who's going to work in partnership with you to build a proper relationship. And all you've got is somebody who lies to you and messes around with other people. I think you've had enough, Virgo, and I think you're going to end it. I think you're going to speak your piece this is somebody who's never going to change. This is somebody who is potentially just in bachelor mode 24-7. And you may have been with this person for quite a long time, Virgo, and you just felt really left out in the cold. Too many arguments, and I think you are just ending it. You've had enough and walking away. You're fed up with them juggling you with other people. And so you're moving on. Now, it may be that this pers person pushes back on that decision, but I think what you're going to say to them is, you keep breaking my heart. You keep heading off with other people. I'm not having it anymore. And I'm not dealing with you anymore. So let's, let's see what comes through. Yeah. Hmm. I think you're going to hold back from this person. You don't you don't feel they're ever going to offer you long-term commitment. I think that's the problem. And I think you're going to take a leap of faith and a risk with someone else, Virgo. Someone who is going to give to the relationship. Yeah, that's what I feel. That's what I feel. And you may be much happier with somebody who really does want to put effort into the connection with you. Yeah, I think you've had enough of someone's just erratic behaviour, you know. Wow. Guys, we're starting off with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this is someone who's a bit of a player. I'm sorry, but someone could say, yes, someone's holding back. Someone's not passionately wanting to move forward. I'm sorry, BS. For me, this is a player. Someone rushing in passionately, rushing back out again. Knight of Wands in reverse, okay? So this is you, Virgo, realising that your person's never going to change. You could be dealing with a fire sign or a Scorpio, maybe. You're ending it. You're ending it. With a Nine of Pentacles, you're breaking free. You know your worth. You have a lot to offer. You've been heartbroken way too many times. You've been left disappointed way too many times. Maybe Leo, you're dealing with a Leo. But with the energy of judgment, Sag energy, you're making a serious judgment call that you're fed up with feeling alone, upset, disappointed, stressed. Where is this person? Who are they with? You've had enough. You're releasing them. You've been trying to hold on to this connection. I think you're letting it go. Because you feel that this person is constantly working with somebody else, constantly dating somebody else. They lie. They lie. <laughs> okay. 
Wow, Knight of Swords in Reverse, King of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, and that's the truth. They lie all the time. You're not having it anymore. They leave you alone. You're always feeling disconnected from them. You never know what they're up to. Or I'm hearing or who they're up to. With the Five of Wands, arguments and disagreements, you're always having to fight off the competition for this person. They're permanently having one night stands. You're just sick of it. Yeah. Two of Pentacles, you're absolutely convinced that they are never going to stop juggling you with somebody else. So you're ending it, Virgo. Wow. You're ending it. Oh, okay. It's going to be painful, but you're ending it. You're fed up with feeling backstabbed and betrayed. You could be dealing with a King of Wands in reverse. Somebody who can't keep it in their pants and you have had enough. You're letting it go. Ten of Wands. Way too much stress, way too much burden. You're looking at the future, you're letting it go. Because this is someone who was never going to commit to you, Emperor in the reverse, they're never going to act with integrity. And you're holding back. Aries energy, Leo energy with a strength card. You know your worth, head held high. And you're putting up strong boundaries against this person. Seven of Wands, yeah, no. No, 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 no. You're not taking a leap of faith and a risk. Okay, and with the Six of Pentacles, for some of you, you are divorcing. For others of you, you're breaking free and you're finding someone who is going to put in the effort. I mean, for some of you, you're leaving one fire sign and moving on with another. So you could be leaving a Sag or a Leo and moving forward with an Aries. But with the Six of Pentacles, you want equal give and take. And I think you're going to find it if you break free. Because with the Ace of Pentacles, this is you moving into a beautiful, stable new relationship. So if you end things with the person that you're with, I don't think you're going to be single for long, Virgo. I don't. I don't. All right. Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, I feel that you may have been in a situation with somebody who was a bit wishy-washy, somebody who was one minute they were really into you, the next minute they weren't really communicating with you. You never knew where you stood with this person. There could also have been a very irritating situation for you where they were super keen and then there were two or three weeks of no communication. This is somebody you may have been dating. And just as you were beginning to feel I have to move on, they text you, they message you. Uh, I really like to see you. This is someone who didn't really put in the effort into the connection, but this is someone who never really stepped it up. Yeah, so I feel that Capricorn, you are deciding, realizing that you can't change this person. They're always going to be flighty. They're always going to be one minute super into you, the next minute really not bothered. And I think you don't feel this is going anywhere. So I think, Kathy, you're going to end it. <laughs> you're going to end it. Yeah, I'm hearing you know your worth. You know your worth. You know your worth. You want to come out of feeling on your own, Capricorn. You want love. You don't want to be with somebody who one minute they're into you, the next minute they're not. Ah, it's just frustrating. It could be that also, Cappy, you may have been connected with somebody who lived a distance and it was just impossible to see this person. So maybe when you did have time and you messaged them, they were never around, you know, or they were busy. Um, or, you know, because this person needed time to maybe fit you into their work schedule, you could never see them very much. And it was just getting irritating. So I think you're ending it. And I think you're moving forward towards someone else that you're very attracted to. You're healing your heart. I think you are leaving behind a very unfulfilling situation. You're making a decision to do that. And I think you're going to be very quickly messaging someone else. You're manifesting someone else. I'm hearing Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. Yes. I think you've made up your mind that you want to do this. You want to be with somebody who's putting in the effort, not somebody who is pulling away. Yeah. I think this person makes you feel very attractive. Maybe the other person just acts as if they weren't very attracted to you or interested in you half the time 
and it upset you. So Capricorn, you are changing the game. Yes. There's going to be lots of flirty messages coming through. I think you're moving towards someone who is warm, loving, giving. I think you're leaving behind someone who maybe didn't know how to love or may had maybe had emotional issues or they were sad in their ego and they didn't ever want to admit that they had feelings for you. I think enough is enough, Cappy. Yeah. So, I think for you, this is somebody who was just not consistent. Mm. Queen of Pentacles. So this is you, strong, stable, grounded. You have your own money. Things are good. But you're keeping a secret. The secret is, is that you're fantasizing about someone, Cappy. You could be fantasizing about a Pisces. With the Nine of Wands, you've been struggling as to what to do about this. With the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, you want to come out of feeling really left out in the cold. And you want love. I think the person that you've been with hasn't shown you love. And this is you decided to cut your losses and to move on from that situation. They could have lived a distance from you with the three of wands. This is you pining for them across the water. Yeah, it wasn't going to happen. They may even have been involved to somebody else. And with the ace of cups, I think you're looking for new love. So you're walking away from that situation. You're on the search for love. You're healing your heart. Yes, you're healing your heart and you're making a decision a decision to reach out to someone to communicate. Could be somebody that you work with. It could be somebody who runs a successful business. Or you're communicating with someone to say, I was in a situation that was really unfulfilling. I was really unhappy and I've left that situation. I'm opening up to you to say, I'm getting out of it. With the energy of the magician, interesting. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, energy. You're manifesting love. Eight of swords in reverse coming out of your head. Yeah, I want to be happy. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy myself. So with the queen of wands, I think you're taking action, Cappy. You could be moving towards a queen of wands. You could be the queen of wands. But this is you, I feel, taking action. You may have a choice between two people. We have Gemini energy here, but I think that you are considering moving towards someone that you feel a very strong soul connection to. With the Page of Pentacles, you may start off as friends, okay? But I think this is going to develop into passionate messages. Mm. And with the King of Cups, it could be that you've met your person. This is mutual love. This is Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. So, Cappy, I think you are on the move. I think no more inconsistency. Can't see you. I'm sorry. I'm busy or pathetic little messages. Yeah, no, you're leaving it behind. Okay. Charming Oracle secret love messages. Here we go, people. Here we go. Starting off with my lovely Taurians. What is going on, Taurus? You ending a situation? I think for you, this is quite serious. So what does Taurus want to say to my Queen of Cups? Or what does my Queen of Cups want to say to my Taurians? Wow, I'm not good at expressing my feelings. I wish you could just look into my heart and feel all the love I have for you. So we have someone here who is very shy in expressing their heart, expressing their feelings. Okay. Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Virgos? Virgo, message to you, Virgo, or from you? Okay. Wow. I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. Absolutely. Virgo, you're dealing with a player. You're dealing with somebody who can't keep it in their pants and you are sick of it and you're ending it and you're moving forward with somebody who does want a commitment. Wow, you could even have been committed to this person. Maybe they were constantly lying, constantly cheating on you. You've had enough. You're leaving it behind, okay? Capricorn, what have you got for my beautiful Cappies? This is from you, Cappy, to your person or vice versa. Wow, I know that we are still connected because I feel it. When you're sad, in pain or angry with me, please make sure you stay positive so I can be optimistic about our future. 
So this is an issue for you, Capricorn, because even though I think that you are needing to disconnect from someone, you are connected with your person at soul level. It may well be that your person that you're walking away from is saying to you, I'm so sorry, I do feel connected with you. Please stay positive about the future. But I don't know, Capricorn, I think you're leaving it behind. So it may well be that once you move on to someone new, your person comes back to say, I'm not going to let you go. So you may have a choice to make. Hmm. All right, guys. So I'm leaving it there. I hope that's helped. As always, sending love and light your way. Have a great weekend and I shall see you soon. Bye now.